Hello everybody and welcome back to the Rock and Reaction Rollers and we are doing our second video tonight for Tammy's Two for Tuesday and um, <clears throat> the second one that we're going to do is one that reminds me of, of our little group here. Um, so you know we've got 1500 subscribers now and so love it when people comment so just if you're new to the channel just get right in there you know speak your mind and um, just everybody be kind. That's what I ask is everybody be kind, but just, you know, talk about the songs if you like them or just join right in with the rest of us. The more the merrier. We got plenty of room for more people. But this song that I'm getting ready to play reminds me of our group here. So um, the song I want to do, we're going back to 1972. I'm going to play the Ricky Nelson tune called Garden Party. So we're just going to get right to it. I went to a garden party to reminisce with my old friend A chance to share old memories play the songs again When I got to the garden party They all knew my name No one recognized See, you can't please everyone, so you got to please yourself. People came from miles around, everyone was there. Yoko brought a walrus, there was magic in the air. Over in the corner, much to my surprise. Mr. Hughes hid in Dylan's shoes, wearing his disguise, but it's all right now. I learned my lesson well. You see, you can't please everyone, so you got to please yourself. La da da, la da da da. -da. them all the old songs I thought that's why they came but no one heard the music didn't look the same I said hello to Mary Lou she belongs to me when I sang a song about a honky tonk it was time to leave but it's all right now learn my lesson well see you can't please everyone so you got to please yourself oh i totally agree <laughs> can't please everyone all the time but got to please yourself sometimes i have to tell myself that when i get overstressed um but anyway, I wanted to mention the guy that's on the, I don't know, they said the keyboards, but to me it's more, it looks more like a steel guitar or something. I don't know. I couldn't see what he was doing, but it sounded more like a steel guitar. I think that's Gene Ackman, and he's played with several groups, a lot of country music, um, people like Vince Gill. That's the only name I wrote down, though, and I can't think what the other ones were. But um, yeah, he's played in a lot of uh, groups, very talented man there but uh anyway we're just going to get right back to the song it's a good one to lay our heads down to tonight too i think and, and i'm just feeling everybody's presence or you know i know you're not here right now because i'm recording but you will be in a little bit but 1972 garden party by ricky nelson la -da -da. La -da 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 -da. Someone opened up the closet door And I stepped Johnny B. Good Playing guitar like a ring and a bell And looking like a shirt 
Now if you gotta play a garden party I wish you a lot of love But if memories were all I say I'd rather drive a truck Then all right now I've learned my lesson well See you can't please everyone So you have to please yourself I've heard that song, but it does come to my mind now and then, and it's just a relaxing song. And um, so we got a little bit about it here that I want to read. Okay, <clears throat> hopefully I do this in order because it looks like it's kind of messed up here. Okay, this song tells the story of Nelson being booed at a concert at Madison Square Garden. It was Nelson's last top 40 hit, reaching number six on the U.S. Billboard Pop Chart. And who got the last laugh there? Oh, Ricky did. And it says, He turned what could have remained the darkest day of his life into his bright and shining moment. You go for it, Ricky. Good for you. Um, and then it says, um, Somebody asked a question, What does it mean by Yoko brought her walrus? Um, and I just thought it was interesting because I didn't know either. Um, but he, he it's, it supposedly means John is the walrus. John and Yoko were at the party. They called it, he called them walrus. <laughs> okay, in 1966, Rick was finished with rock and roll and pop music. He turned his attention to country music and started singing songs with Willie Nelson, Tim Harden, Harry Nelson, as well as writing his own material, and he has an album called Bright Lights that did very well. And then one last thing that was just a fact here that I thought was cool. Ricky Nelson and George Harrison of the Beatles were next door neighbors. And they were very good friends. I think that's cool. But anyway, that was the 1972 Garden Party by Ricky Nelson. Tomorrow night's Wednesday night. We will not be on the channel. Um, so we will be back on Thursday night. Um, but if my life doesn't get any crazier, I don't know. Oh, my gosh, I've had a day. Um, but I think I'm going to hit the hay. And um, the music did make me feel a little bit better. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. And um, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you like the channel. Be sure to hit like underneath it. Be sure to consider becoming a member. And be sure to tell those people that you love that you love them each and every day. And peace out.